My name is Mary Koske, Principal Capsabet Girls, and today I'm really humbled and honored to receive this award as one of the heroines of 2021. I'm the principal of Capsabet Girls from 19, 2018, having come from Capropita Girls. And uh, I just want to thank God that uh, we have been able to achieve a few things in terms of infrastructure. We have mobilized resources from all the well-wishers to put up infrastructure for the students. We have also uh, ensured that there's academic excellence in the school. For example, last year, the school did so well. We had 250 candidates, 245 scored C plus and above, translating to a 98% transition to the university to do very competitive courses. So our wastage rate is very minimal. The five girls who did not get C plus have been enrolled in diploma courses and doing uh, very good courses. So we have also mentored the students. Uh, we are a STEM school. We are a master's insert center. So we have rigorous programs to, to mentor the students uh, so that they come out as all-rounded students. So I just want to thank, uh, I just want to thank the president for this particular honor. It is really an encouragement for us that uh, let's just do our work to the best of our ability. Let us each give our contribution, uh, the extra, let's go the extra mile, and this society will be a good place to live in. Today is a happy day for myself and the teaching fraternity, to all the teachers uh, who are vested with the huge responsibility of ensuring that we, we, we mentor the youth who are our leaders. So to me and the teaching prof, uh, fraternity, and to my particular school, it's a great honor. And in 2019, I was the principal of the year, first runners up. And uh, I just want to thank God for those achievements. So we want to say we are trying our best uh, in the schools. We know that uh, we have so many students, courtesy of the 100% transition. So we want to really thank the government, that the government is tr uh, trying its best to put up in infrastructure. As we speak, we, the government is putting up four laboratories uh, through the maintenance and improvement uh, project. And so the government is trying its best. Uh, we have so many students. The school has grown uh, over time, courtesy of the 100% transition. So we really have to work with all the stakeholders to make sure that we put in place all the facilities uh, to ensure that the students uh, stay in a good place and are able to achieve their dreams. Yeah. So mine is just to rally all the stakeholders that let us um, prepare, put f uh, the necessary infrastructure in the schools uh, so that the students can have a conducive environment to learn.